the No Fate Channel. Checking in. On this episode of Dad's Home Gym, I am once again coming to you with the Home Gym Equipment Review. And this time we are going to pit the Flybird Interchangeable Dumbbells against the USA Made Power Blocks. We're going to go over how they work, how much they cost, the pros, the cons, and ultimately which one's going to be right for you. Now it should go without saying that the number one way to save money and space when you are trying to bring in dumbbells to your home gym is to go with an interchangeable dumbbell pair. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. But there's a number of them out there and which one is right for you? Hopefully we're going to answer that question today. If this is your first time to the channel, give this video a like, hit that red subscribe button. On this Dad's Home Gym series, I just review pieces of home gym equipment to help you decide what is going to be right for your home gym, which will exceed your expectations, and of course, which is worth your hard-earned money. So why do I have two pairs of interchangeable dumbbells? The answer is all of you. You have all been using my affiliate links which are in the description of today's video, all the proceeds, as promised, go right back into future reviews. So I picked up these Flybirds online because they tend to be a popular pair and I wanted to see if they were good and frankly, if they were worth the money. They come in at $379 for a pair. The weight ranges from 11 pounds all the way up to 55 pounds and they work simply by turning the handle. Every increment is an additional 11 pounds. You turn the handle, pull the, the, the weight out, and then you are off to the races. I will say that changing the weight is very, very quick. You can go from 11 to 55 in like two seconds, three seconds. It is extremely quick. Unfortunately, the handle is plastic. It is a fairly cheap feeling handle. It has a little bit of an ergonomic curvature to it, but that does not help it with respect to the grip. Once you start using this and get it, get it sweaty, it feels like a sweaty piece of plastic ready to fall out of your hands at every, any time. Unfortunately, these are made overseas, which is part of the reason the price point is uh, so low, at least compared to a lot of the other interchangeable dumbbells out there. Another problem with these dumbbells that I found during use is that when you are in the middle weight range, so 33 and 44 pounds, unfortunately, when you get that weight above your head, whether it's an overhead bench press or even, um, even a, a dumbbell bench press, the weight itself isn't balanced. It doesn't feel comfortable and you almost feel like it's going to slip out of your hand. Not, e not even because this grip is slippery, which it is, but because the weight it stack itself, if you're not holding it in just the right way, is absolutely off balance and causing this whole internal frame to want to rotate as you're doing that exercise. Now, power blocks have been around for quite some time. In fact, this pair alone I've owned for three and a half years, and frankly, they work as good as the day that I bought them. One of the benefits of going with power blocks is that most of their interchangeable dumbbells are made in the USA. They have a number of different iterations. The majority of them are made in America. There's a few listed as overseas, but they do have full transparency. We're gonna specifically talk about this Elite Series. They have a sports series and a premium series that have slightly different variations, but the function and the form work exactly the same. So coming in at $500 shipped, I will say that they are more expensive than the Flybirds. However, you can get these from anywhere from 10 pounds all the way up to 50 pounds in terms of changing the weight out. And one of the beauties of the actual power blocks are these added weights. So you don't have to skip 10 pound increments. In fact, you can have increments of as little as two and a half pounds. So you can do 17 and a half pounds, 20, 22 and a half pounds. You guys get the idea. Adjusting the power block dumbbell weight is a little bit more convoluted than the Flybird, but you do get that added versatility of having a lot more increments to choose from. First things first, you will pull this piece out here. You will then, if you so desire, add in these additional weights, depending on which weight you're shooting for. And then you'll simply slide this back in and pull up on the handle and you are off to the races. Now the power blocks handle 
obviously isn't going to feel as good and as nice as a fully knurled dumbbell that you might have at your local gym. However, it is easy to grab and they put a very, very hard foam around it so that it gives you enough texture so that even when your hand is super sweaty, you can still grip it and rip it. Probably the two biggest standouts when it comes to these power blocks. Number one is that they are expandable. Currently, clearly with the flybirds, you're set and capped at 55 pounds. And with these interchangeable dumbbells, they start off at 50 pounds in terms of a max weight. But if you are looking to go heavier, they do have expandable um, options to purchase later on down the road so that you're not really pigeonholed into having a max of 55 pounds. You can get as high and as heavy as 90 pounds. The other nice thing about these dumbbells is the uniformity. When you are lifting with these, they do feel comfortable in the hand. Balancing that weight is not going to be an issue. It doesn't feel lopsided or it doesn't tilt when you have it in your hand. It is balanced all the way around. As far as dropping either of these interchangeable dumbbells, I wouldn't do it. I have over time by accident dropped this power block a few times and haven't had any damage to it, but it isn't something that you should expect to do and not have your power blocks or even your flybirds break on you just because of their design. Again, they are not your typical dumbbell that you get at a local gym that you can throw down from time to time and not expect it to bend or bust. And now it's time. It is time for Fate of the Union, where I give you my final thoughts on the Flybird versus the Power Block interchangeable dumbbells. First and foremost, there's no way around it. If you are tight on money or if you are tight on space, you gotta go with interchangeable dumbbells. Getting regular dumbbells in your home gym unfortunately adds up quite quickly and they do tend to take up quite a lot of space after you get over a few pairs. As far as the Flybirds go on paper, because they cost $379, which is rather inexpensive for um, interchangeable dumbbells, that you might be gravitated because of the price. And I'm gonna tell you, steer clear. You're not gonna be happy with how they feel. You're not gonna be happy with the performance. And while you're lifting, you're not gonna be happy with those 11 pound jumps. They are quite massive amount of jumps if you're thinking about doing an exercise where you can do 22 pounds versus 33 pounds. You really are gonna find you're missing that middle spot. The Power Block Elite Series may cost $130 more than these Flybirds, but they're absolutely worth it. Pay once, cry once. The additional bells and whistles that come with this thing and the ability to rack these things up as high as 90 pounds in terms of expansion is definitely the way to go. I have reviewed a number of interchangeable dumbbells. I've used a whole bunch. As far as my money is concerned, I still think that the power blocks are the best route with respect to their two and a half pound increment jumps and the ease with which you can change the weight and the handle, although not fully knurled, is very, very good to hold and to use when you're clanging and banging away at the weights. If you came this far in the video and have any questions regarding power blocks or these flybirds, drop them in the comments below. If you're interested in supporting the channel, check out the affiliate links in the description below because all that money goes into future reviews. Do me a huge favor if you made it this far. Hey, you and I, we're band of brothers. Give this video a like, hit that red subscribe button as usual. Thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.